Hey guys, Infidel 1258 here. And I don't want to just feature two battles. And again, it's the same thing, guys. Speed is the thing right now. And any card that I see coming out of Chaos Legion that is going to offer new slow abilities or new blind abilities, um, light to various monsters, anything that's going to dodge, any like a summoner that offered dodge would be crazy. I'm going to be looking for this type of thing in the Chaos Legion expansion, and I want to show you this two battles. This one's just almost, from his perspective, infuriating. From my perspective, hilarious. And again, think about how if you could just add a few more monsters to your deck that added dodge or flight or slow to the enemy or speed to your team. Because certain battles are uh, only allow you to play uh, un odd monsters and others even you need to have a plethora of options that are going to amplify this this current meta which is speed focused watch this battle and see what happens i mean this guy is going to cut my damage in half this guy's got retaliate he's got stun he's got enrage but it's just not going to matter look i've only got two attack but it doesn't matter i gotta go faster on this one miss miss three misses four misses five misses Six, seven. He hits me once. Hits me twice. I think we're up to nine or ten misses. I forget how many. He's only hit me twice. It's easier to count the hits. He hit me three times. Do you see this? He's hit me three, four. He's hit me four times. He hasn't hit me once with the Alchemist. I think the Alchemist has 0% chance of hitting. And that's it. Like, this is over. The Alchemist had a 0% chance of hitting. Because of my 9 speed plus my dodge. I think I had a 105% chance to dodge every one of his hits. So, again... In that situation, I didn't need any more speed, but there are games where you can't use odds or you can't use evens, where you can't use red or you can't use kitty or you can't use. And so I'm always looking to just build out that that meta and, and give myself more opportunities to exploit that, that speed first. Here's another one. Kitty, I'm, I'm using kitty in both of them, but if there was a new summoner that did plus two speed or even that took away two speed. I heard somebody saying like, what if there was a negative two speed? Cause there's a negative two armor summoner at rare level. What if there was a negative two speed summoner? We have a plus one speed in pyre. What if we had a negative two? I don't know if I think that's exactly likely, but it's just anything speed related, positive or negative. I'm going to be super keen on. And, and these battles are just showing you why. Despite the magic, despite the powerful tank, Despite his heavy nerfs on my monsters, it just doesn't matter. And look, blind, blind. I'm using double blind. I'm using triple speed. So I'm at, I'm. Misses, misses, misses. And we just, it's because of the earthquake, remember? So it, it, with the context of this too, I'm just, it's an attrition thing. And he's got his snare, but it's it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because he can't land a shot. The Grenadier. I saw Bulldog today saying that this is one of his underrated cards. I don't know about that. I don't like this card. But I mean, at higher levels, sure. And it's not just not one of my favorites. What do you guys think? So... On that, with that in mind, if you guys don't have a maxed out assassin or the, the assassin at the level that you you play at, strongly consider it because it continues to be 80 cents, right? Like 70, 80 cents. And it's been around that price point since the day it launched. And therefore, it continues to be a powerful card for two mana. Um, I think, especially if you play at champion level or a, a diamond, because you're going to get that, you're going to get that quickness. Swiftness, is it called? Yeah, swiftness. So look, another win. And... Partly because of blind, partly because of double blind, partly because I had a nightmare that dodged a few magic attacks there. And as you can see, this is over. Speed, guys. Speed, speed, speed. Um, 
And there's going to be new cards when the Chaos Legion full release happens, and you're going to be surprised how many of them fit into that niche. But just keep that in the back of your mind. Obviously, look for other things also. There's other metas that, that could evolve. Be prepared for that. Look for synergies that really strike you as powerful. But be aware that when December 15th comes along and those Chaos Legion packs are openable, there's going to be all kinds of new opportunities, and we need to strike quickly um, before others start to recognize it. And I don't mean in the first hours. I mean in the first you know weeks. It's going to take time for the, those cards to become meta. In that time, you need to see it before they do so you can acquire the cards you want to build out your deck. I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Thanks for your time and attention. Have an amazing day. God bless.